Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my like 2020 New Year kind of inspirational master list of all things that you guys need. A lot of these are free. I'm not saying you have to go spend a lot of money, but things that I want for 2020 I'm going to be using to be healthy, to be more productive, um, people I'm going to be following, li podcasts I'm going to be listening to, books I'm going to be reading. I've never put a podcast episode on my YouTube channel, so let me know how you guys like it, but I do these videos on my channel, so I figured we might as well knock two, what is it, two birds with, out with one stone. Yeah, that's what it is. If you guys are new here, subscribe. Also, my podcast is always linked down below. It's called the I Love You So Much Podcast with me, Kenzie Elizabeth. It's just called the I Love You So Much Podcast. But yeah, I think you guys will really like it. If you guys watch my videos, then you guys would love the podcast. So I will have that link down below. There are so many episodes I post every single Thursday. So yeah, we're going to get into it. Okay, guys. So the goal of this episode is basically to equip you guys with the best things for the new year. I am in no way, shape, or form saying you need to go buy all these things in order to be like healthy and productive, but these are just kind of my favorite things for um, kind of like staying productive, um, my favorite skincare stuff, my favorite makeup, a lot of these things. Um, I'm pretty like on the go and I get ready pretty quick, so you guys will notice that. Kind of like my look for the new year um, and then even more specifically like podcasts that I recommend books that I love, um, YouTube channels, Instagrams, just things in the kitchen that are great for like things that you eat, also things that like kitchen tools, very domestic of me, and then some miscellaneous things like planners um, and just random tech things that keep me motivated. So if you guys need a little bit more of this um, 2020 motivation, keep listening. This is going to be a great episode. Also, I will have everything linked in the show notes and this is also on my YouTube channel. So I'll have that video linked down below and I'll have the products linked on there as well. But if you guys didn't know, I also have a YouTube channel, post a lot of like lifestyle. If you guys are into any of these product recommendations or anything, honestly, I do that a lot more heavily over there. So I would go check that out. Okay. So we're going to first talk about skincare. You guys know that I love skincare. I love having really clear, perfect skin as much as the next person does, but I really don't love wearing makeup. And I'm really not even one of those people who's like super big on concealer or anything like that, but I really just feel my best self when I just have like good skin. And I think that it's just overall, there's so many benefits as we know. But I was recently introduced to Sonia Dakar products by my friend Lauren Elizabeth. She did some holiday collection with them and she'd already been telling me about how amazing these things are and how everyone needs them and all of this stuff. And she's the one person, honestly, that she could tell me to buy dirt and I would probably buy it. Like I trust every product recommendation that she has. So luckily for me, she came out with a like holiday box. It was Sonia Dakar by Lauren Elizabeth not available anymore, but I purchased it literally within two seconds of her putting it on her Instagram story. It came in like one day. It was really exciting for me and I got to try out a bunch of new products and I'm here to tell you my top three that I cannot live without because this is my favorite skincare. You know when you use skincare and you're like, okay, this is like probably bad for my skin. I don't know how else to describe it other than you use this skincare and you're like, I just know what's really amazing for me. It is definitely pricier. I think it is so worth it to invest in skincare. So the first thing that I have, I love the face cleanser from there. I am totally blanking on which exact one I have. I looked on the website and for some reason, I just couldn't find it. I don't know. I will have it linked down below. This one is the best face cleanser ever. I really struggle with finding a cleanser that doesn't make my face face feel like stripped whenever I cleanse my face I feel like it feels dry after and I just I'm not the biggest fan I've never found a face cleanser that I've absolutely 150% loved I found ones that have like you know perks in certain areas but doesn't just kind of like hit every single one this is the best face cleanser I've ever used I will keep repurchasing it my skin looked so much better when I was using this I'm still using it but I've just been traveling so I didn't have my full size but it is just the absolute best the next thing, um, I want to say that this is my favorite product. It is the Sonia Dakar Omega Booster. So think of kind of like, I would equate this to like a vitamin C serum, but oh my gosh, nothing beats this. I was back home in Texas over the holidays. My boyfriend was there and I was telling my mom how amazing this new skincare is that I have, blah, 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 whatever. And I just know it's good. And I guess he like got into my skincare when he was in the bathroom and used it. And so he was like, yeah, not that I've used it or anything, but it just feels so amazing. So that's how you know. If a boy notices a difference, like it is absolutely the best. It smells amazing. Your face just feels so refreshed. Like, 
oh my gosh and I'm like really into skincare so that is what I mean like I'm just like that obsessed with it and then the next thing I have I'm gonna read it off of my phone it is the Sonia Dakar this is my last product product from them the blemish buster okay guys if you are someone who has used that like Mario Badescu um with the pink spot treatment you know what I'm talking about I feel like everyone has it they sell it at Urban it's literally everywhere this new one it's not new but then the Sonia Dakar one is 20 times better it just ta- gets rid of your acne whatever breakout you have overnight it feels so much better I've heard that Mario Badescu is like really bad for you I don't know I'm not some expert I don't know anything but this one the blemish buster is amazing and it's just so freaking good if you have any breakouts if you struggle with breakouts trust me it is worth it it's the same kind of setup as a mario badescu one like you just get your q-tip you dip it in and then you like put the apply the product to your face the best thing ever 10 out of 10 recommend i have two more items um the next thing i have is the summer fridays face mask the um jet lag mask I know everyone and their mother has talked about this mask, but I've been on so many planes lately and this face mask has saved my life. This is another one where my boyfriend's also obsessed with it, so that's how you know, but it's such a good face mask. I'm also someone who's like pretty lazy when it comes to face masks. I love doing them. I do them probably a little bit too often, but I am like do them when I'm relaxed and like ready to like read and in bed and then by the time I'm like really settled and I have a face mask on it's time to take it off and it's kind of annoying um but the jet lag mask um honestly more often than not I've just kind of been leaving it on as a moisturizer which you're totally allowed to do it's like actually fine as like an overnight mask and it is amazing my skin feels so rejuvenated after and I just I love summer Fridays the last thing that I have is the nurse Jamie uplift roller absolutely love this thing um if you guys have used like facial roll rollers the ice rollers anything um I know there's a lot of opinions out there people think like you just see it and you're like oh that does nothing I am here to tell you the complete exact opposite so about two years ago I flew I think I was in New York because I did some shoot in New York and then I got the photos back and my face was like so puffy and I never really had that before like I never noticed that about myself at least like maybe I had and I just noticed because of the photos anyways so I was like wow I need to get something to like depuff my face because clearly traveling and planes are doing that to me so I got the nurse Jamie uplift roller probably about two years ago and this tool is so amazing it is the best thing ever I just like apply you don't apply it to your face but you like roll your face with it and it just really like deep puffs your face you just look so much better cannot explain this to you enough like I know that some people think that these things are a scam and like I promise you they just aren't um so good so 10 out of 10 recommend the next thing that I have for you would be makeup okay so my number one holy grail makeup product right now I don't even know if this counts as a makeup product but it is a Kopari lip glossy so it's basically a lip balm that is a lip gloss it's incredible it's the applicator that you can just like apply I honestly I'm not even gonna try to explain this to you guys over a podcast just check the link in the description or in the show notes but it is so good it's so moisturizing and it leaves your your lips looking so glossy so I will just typically like I'll get out of bed early in the morning throw on like throw my hair up in a bun brush my brows out and then I'll put on my Sony Dakar Omega Booster um, serum that's the best thing ever and then I'll put on the Kapari lip glossy and it looks like I'm on some Glossier ad like that is how glowy my skin looks and like the whole thing overall the look really into that right now I'm very minimal when it comes to like get ready getting ready and stuff like even a full face of makeup for me is just not that much mostly because I'm not like super great at makeup or anything like that um I love makeup but for me like I like more of like a minimal kind of like natural look and the Kapari lip glossy is so perfect I cannot recommend it to you guys enough I've been getting so many tags and Instagram stories lately saying that you guys are obsessed with it and I just love it The next thing that I've been loving is the Lip Addict, the like lip plumper from them. It really stings your lips, um, not gonna lie. But also if I have something that's a lip plumper, like I need it to sting my lips so I know that it's working because if I'm putting something on and it's not stinging my lips, I just like pretty much know that it's not working or in my head it just doesn't matter it's not working and it's not doing anything. This thing is amazing. It's really glossy, so it has a really pretty finish, but it also plumps your lips a little bit, and I love it. I've been wearing this lip gloss 
so much lately like it's my number one go-to as an actual lip gloss and the Kapari one is more of like my everyday like lip balm that I use but the lip addict is like my lip gloss lip gloss if you know what I'm saying the next thing is my honestly this is probably my all-time number one holy grail it's the it cosmetic cc cream you guys know that I love this I've loved this for forever I haven't really worn anything else on my skin in probably over a year I honestly maybe two three years at this point actually at least two years I really don't I just recently got a new foundation honestly I think I've used it one time I'm constantly grabbing the it Cosmetics CC cream and then I do one pump and I apply it I recently got a brush and I've been applying it with a brush which I'm kind of really into and that's what I do it's the best thing ever it is the perfect mix like think like if you guys don't know what a CC cream is it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer with just a little bit more coverage it's the perfect in between of a tinted moisturizer and a foundation it keeps your skin looking very natural and glowy especially this one but it's not anything too crazy they also have spf in it there's a it's just the best amazing the next thing that i have recently picked up for the new year is i got a new makeup set i got this sigma travel essential set because this year i'm going to be traveling probably more than i ever have so i was like i might as well just get the travel one and i've been loving this um i'm not someone who buys makeup brushes all the time um I definitely have a little bit more just because they're sent from PR and stuff but anytime I buy brushes I always go to Sigma and I'm always loving them I remember years ago I had that one Sigma set that was so popular on YouTube that was blue I mean it came in other colors mine was blue if you guys know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about but I got a new um makeup brush set which has kind of made me experiment a little bit more I've been trying out a little bit Um, more like makeup just different makeup looks and using different products and stuff just because you know why not and I've been loving that okay so we're gonna be talking about clothes and accessories for 2020 so um my biggest advice is kind of just have an idea of your look and then you can just invest in the statement pieces get nice statement pieces it's worth it like get a good pair of jeans a good perfect like white t-shirt kind of just depending on your style um invest in the basics and then obviously like don't spend too much money on everything you can definitely get um really good alternatives I'll be talking about stores and stuff to shop at as well um but I actually recently was like I own way too much stuff I don't want any of this like I have way too many clothes to the point where like I wouldn't even know what to wear because they were so stuffed and I get rid of clothes like I donate clothes probably once a month but I don't know what was wrong so I went through my entire house my closet my car um, another closet that I had my office like I went through everything and I got rid of a mound of clothes guys if you guys follow me on Instagram or you guys I vlog the entire process if you guys need any cleaning motivation um you guys know that this was like a very very crazy clean out and I feel better than ever I was like I know what my look is my look is casual I'm pretty much always wearing either like a cute sweatsuit that I like dress up a little bit or dress down or like cute denim and kind of like a cute little sweater type top like yesterday I wore my favorite Levi's and then I wore this like black sweater um that had like brown buttons if that like if that's kind of my look it's very simple um and yeah if I like unique pieces and random things and I'll obviously buy them but just kind of having like a clear idea of what I want to wear has really helped me like get dressed every single day because it used to be kind of overwhelming because my stuff wasn't organized I didn't even know where my new stuff was like I felt like I would get new pieces and then I would lose them in my closet because my like clothing rack was so stuffed but now I can see everything and it's all back to being color coordinated which has really helped me and I feel like I'm not wearing the same clothes over and over again or the same outfit over and over again which shouldn't be happening because I have other clothes to wear you know so anyways I live in sweatsuits as you guys know um I'm gonna give you guys my best sweat set like places to shop one I really like talentless I have um I don't know what color I have it's kind of like a beige neutral I don't even know what color I have but honestly any of them are really really cute um, they're amazing quality, big fan. The next one that I love is the Aritzia Boyfriend set. So there's the Aritzia Boyfriend sweats and then the Aritzia Boyfriend hoodie. Um, and then I get the hoodie in the oversized version of it. Seriously, guys, this is the most comfortable set you will 
ever 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 wear I have two colors I want like seven more I honestly need to get more because that's how much I wear them I have a gray and then a lime green this lime green is so obnoxious guys I've worn it like twice but you know when you have something that's like so loud that you feel like you can only wear it one time because that's like all anyone will ever remember I don't know maybe it's just me anyways that's amazing and then also after voices I know they have sets now and I haven't tried those but I love their sweatpants they have really really good easy everyday sweats that I absolutely love so I had way too much denim and I was like listen talking to myself I only wore about three pairs of those so I got rid of every other pair of denim because I'm like I don't wear them I only want to wear jeans that I absolutely love so the ones that I love I have a golden denim I just got those a few months ago um those are definitely pricier I've always heard people talking about them. Um, you can get them on Revolve or from Aritzia. I don't know where else they sell them, but so worth it. I'm someone who jeans have never fit me perfectly on every single like part of my body. Like you guys probably know the issue. They either don't fit your waist, they don't fit your butt, they don't fit your thighs. Like it's one of the, it's one of the three always. Like you can only choose two essentially in jeans. A gold denim is the only one that is pretty much fit everything. Like it's still slightly, slightly bigger on my waist, but really like not even I mean I don't even really notice it it is the perfect most flattering fit and I absolutely love them yes they are expensive but I wear them all the time so worth it I want to get more pairs from them because I love them and then I have the Levi's high rise rib cage denim that's what I'm actually wearing right now these are so flattering and I don't think every single pair of Levi's are really flattering on me personally like they definitely like make me look like I have no butt or they make me like they don't fit or whatever it is these are actually like the perfect perfect fit for me and I love them so I wear um either a pair from a gold day or the Levi's high rise like another like I have a few washes or I have two washes from them um and yeah those are like kind of the two that I alternate between for tops, I tend to pretty much wear 95% Princess Polly. I'm not someone who wants to invest in the top at all. Princess Polly has really, really good prices. I pretty much always have some sort of discount code too. So on any given day, if you guys are trying to shop Princess Polly, just go to my latest haul with them or my latest like Instagram post with them or something. And I pretty much always have like a 20% off code, but they have the best tops. They're really great quality. They're really affordable prices and I love them. And then also for dresses, I love a cute dress, especially in the summertime because little life hack guys, dresses make you look like you tried so hard when really you just threw a dress on and that's all you did. It's the best thing ever. Um, but I love dresses and literally all of my dresses are always from Princess Polly. Okay, moving on to podcasts, books, YouTube channels, Instagrams, all that stuff that we want to really dive into. I get asked, and requested from you guys all the time like what podcast am I listening to what books am I reading all that stuff like out of anything that I post about those are what you guys are, like always are asking about the most so the first thing I have lately I've really been into how I built this it's an amazing podcast they go through the stories of like how um basically CEOs have built their company so I really loved all of them I the first one I listened to was the crate and barrel one today I listened to Dell um, I've listened to so many of them. I listened to the Away one. There's just a lot of them. If you guys are into like business or like entrepreneurship or anything like that, definitely check that podcast out. Um, it's one of the most popular ones. I'm sure all of you guys have like heard about it at least if you haven't already listened to it, but really, really good. Um, the next thing that I've been getting back into is Girlboss Radio. Girlboss is the first podcast I ever listened to. That's what got me into podcasts like three or four years ago. And I love it. It's Sofia Amoruso, formerly the CEO founder of Nasty Gal, now Girlboss, and Girlboss Radio is really cool. Um, I really like the guests that they bring on. It's really interesting. I really like Sophia. Her voice is very soothing, and yeah, I've been loving Girlboss Radio. Um, obviously, love the Skinny Confidential, and um, more specifically, the Ed Milet's episodes. He has two. Um, I said that weird because in the middle of saying that, I realized that there's two, um, but they recently just posted like a New Year one as well, that I would definitely recommend listening to because it's very good. Um, the next one that I have is the OK Sis podcast. I'm very good friends with them, Maddie and Scout. They are sisters and they have an amazing podcast that I love. We've done a podcast swap. We're going to do more podcasts together. I'm sure I love them. I just literally like I love them. They're so fun and they are fun. I would say if you like my podcast, you would for sure love OK Sis because I feel like our podcasts are 
probably the most similar like they're still fun and like entertaining and not super crazy serious but they're also very um I don't know I would like to think that they add a lot of value still um so yeah we have like a lot of similarities and I love them and you guys would love them and then the last one that I want to talk about is Goop I've loved this one lately I listened to one on um aging yesterday that was really really interesting but it's cooler because goop is like an older age like demo basically that I would normally listen to and I love it I feel very put together with Gwyneth Paltrow you know um but yeah it's just really interesting they have a lot of different perspectives which I think is cool and I've just been loving that one so we're gonna move on to books now I normally read on, like I pretty much read all like leadership business self-help like all that stuff that's kind of like my style my genres that I stick to but lately actually not even lately um recently over winter break I was like I want to read a book did I finish it no but I'm close okay and this is a non-fiction book but it's still fun like on my vlogs I was like oh I want to read a fiction book but it's based off of a true story so I know that it's non-fiction but it was still a fun read this is actually recommended to me from uh, um by actually maddie from okay sis and lauren elizabeth from also mood um and i've recorded with both of them but it's called my friend anna it is so so good basically this girl fakes being an heiress and kind of as a con artist and like scams a bunch of people out of money um it's written by a vanity fair like photographer and it's from her perspective because she was friends with her and like what happened with her anyways it's crazy it's so interesting and it's just such a fun read love that um another book that you guys have been so many of you guys have been buying actually and tagging me in is the hell with the hustle with jefferson betke i would love to have him on this podcast because i love that book and i love the whole it's basically like anti-hustle culture and obviously i mean obviously i don't know why i say obviously so much but um not from the standpoint of like don't work hard but just from the standpoint of like don't let your work be your identity and also just kind of like healthy work habits and stuff I definitely have struggled with that in the past so to help with the hustle was such a good read for me and then I always love to have a daily like Devo book the one that I read every single morning so I have quite a few that I could recommend and if you guys on any given time go to my Amazon shop page I have a full um little book section so if you guys are looking for book recommendations you guys can always just go there but the diva book that I have to recommend you guys now is the 40 day prayer circle there's another title for it too it's kind of a long title I'm a little bit confused seriously the best diva I've ever read in my entire life my friend Amanda Madu recommended it to me and she's gotten so many other people hooked on it and now so many of you guys are even reading it she's literally she started all of that um but seriously it's the best one I've ever read cannot recommend it enough so we're gonna move on to youtube channels and instagrams that i feel like you guys would really benefit from um following keeping up with um okay first one we're gonna talk about michelle reed michelle is a friend of mine love her she is a fellow texan living in new york recently got engaged she's just awesome just quit her nine to five and is full-time doing like youtube social media stuff she's just the best but she does so many really helpful videos on kind of just like budgeting finances um a lot of good advice videos just like 10 out of 10 recommend i have how many times have i said that so far on this podcast guys anyways i think michelle is a great channel to follow i think she's a great girl really just cares so much and gives like very valuable advice i think her videos are just very valuable the next person that i would recommend um following their youtube channel would be jen atkin she is the founder of the way like hair products and stuff i actually used them this morning um but i don't know her but i love her i love following her on social media she's one of my favorite people to follow very entertaining very fun she just did a whole video about the new year and did a bunch of stuff kind of around like food and how she's like things that she's giving up and things that she's doing and um I don't know it was cool and it's cool to watch her because she's like a very real person but her videos are really fun and cool and I love um she did like a day in the life or maybe it was a morning routine kind of going into the office and stuff and it was just really cool to see um kind of on that end of like such a successful like business entrepreneur um, and like what she's doing. So love that. My next recommendation would be my really good pal, Brooke Michio. We uh, love her to death. Seriously, she's absolutely the best. I think actually, as you guys are listening to this, I'm going to see her very, very soon. But we were just together um, for a girl's trip in New York just a few weeks ago. 
and yeah literally been friends with forever her channel guys I have not missed a video like uh, since honestly I can't even remember when it was in months like basically since she started working her nine to five she graduated college she quit her nine to five she's just done so many cool things like she has my favorite vlogs to watch I will not miss a video of hers I love when they're like 45 minutes long like I watch every single one and I love her those are also great and then also Lauren Elizabeth already talked about her at the very beginning of this with the actually a few times throughout this but um great videos really good like lifestyle good like pro the best product recommendations really good book recommendations just the best style best home decor overall love her okay now we're gonna get into instagram so the first one that i have to recommend to you would be days with kate that's just days with k k a i t um a very good friend of mine she has like a food instagram and one it's beautiful too i'm not super into following like food like bloggers or anything like that but i love her stuff i've made so many recipes i'm like good friends with her like <laughs> i have made so many of her recipes if you guys are looking for healthy eating and good good recommendations and things that you're like okay that looks beautiful and like the presentation's amazing but i can actually make that definitely go follow her um also everything for the most actually no everything is pretty healthy everything is healthy now that i'm thinking about it she's a very healthy gal but anyways love her the next person i have is natalie barbu um even more so than instagram like her youtube channel her podcast but even more specifically she has like online like budget templates and things like that that i think would be so helpful for a lot of people i actually downloaded hers she also has an ebook um about like building a brand like youtube channel i actually don't remember what exactly it's on it's overall on like building a brand um but really really helpful it might even be like social practices honestly she has so many services and helpful things on the website that i just can't remember which is which but if you guys are looking to kind of like get a hold of your finances this year i would definitely recommend checking her out i also love disco daydream she's the best feed ever mariana hewitt love her she's a co-founder of summer fridays and she's really fun to watch she has really good product recommendations as well and she's constantly like doing get ready with me's in the morning and like showing you how she does her hair and just stuff like that and i love her okay so going into kitchen and kitchen appliances i'm going to talk about food really quickly and then i'm going to talk about my appliances you guys know well okay i don't know if you guys are not aware in 2019 i became very domestic it was a very odd transition for me to make had you known 2018 kenzie 2018 kenzie and 2019 kenzie two very different people so as far as the kitchen goes um recently i got these goatine balls sent to me they're so good so i used to make like protein balls overnight all the time and they're like my favorite thing to have they're so good before like before or after a workout just as a snack throughout the day um but there is now a company i mean i'm sure they're actually i think they might be the first to do it but there's a company called goatine balls and they um sell them online and you can order them and they're so freaking good they have i believe my favorite is the peanut butter cup flavor so good like cannot recommend it enough really good if you're someone who's like kind of on the go or if you're um someone who like works out a lot or something um i love them they sent them to my house in texas and my family like devoured them they sent so many and everyone was like these are so good so i love those really honestly craving them now and i'm in la and i don't have any but yeah they're so good moving on to appliances my air fryer guys has changed my life i've talked about that so many times but nothing beats a good air fryer and if you guys are trying to save money cook at home kind of get more into cooking um eat healthier cannot recommend the air fryer enough i make salmon in my air fryer like three times a week it is so amazing like you literally open a tray you put your food on it you close it and you press a button and that's all you do like and I know that honestly that sounds like an oven I'm aware but you can do so many other things with an air fryer and it cooks things faster it's better for you there's less oil there's so many things with it but oh my gosh love my air fryer it has completely changed the game love it um also I love having a juicer and a blender I have both I love juicing I will say it is just a little bit more of a commitment so I know that it's a little bit annoying the other day I made juice and I tried to make a whole um like picture of it yeah I don't know why I'm forgetting that and I just love it so much that I drink it so quickly so a juicer is a little bit more of a commitment it's a little bit more cleanup but it still is so nice to have and I really love being able to make really healthy juices at home you also save so much money and then also my blender I have the magic blender 
I don't even remember. It will be linked down below, the exact one that I have. It's not too expensive though, but it's a really great blender and it's amazing. I love making like a green smoothie in the morning. Love that. I used to be so good at my hot lemon water in the morning and then I would have my green smoothie. And that was really when I was at my prime health wise. And I really want to get back into that um, just as my daily routine. So moving on to kind of tools and just things that I use to um, just kind of keep myself all together. So the planner that I use is the Passion Planner Daily. I love Passion Planner. I've had the CEO of Passion Planner on this podcast. That's a great episode. If you guys want to listen to anything about kind of getting like organized, motivated, anything like that. Great episode. Um, they've always had just like the normal passion planner and then they recently came out with the passion planner daily. And this one gives you like two full pages for your entire day, which I love because you have so much space. I love the layout. It's just amazing. I kind of stopped using if like physical, um, planner for quite some time, uh, actually just for the past year. And I was just using my Google calendar and now I'm back to using both because that is how good it is. And then I also have my iPad Pro, which I'm using right now. Um, I love my iPad Pro. I was the girl who had had like two iPads, bought them, thought I was going to use them so much and then never use them. And then I got my iPad Pro and I actually use it all the time. I use it for podcast stuff like specifically. I'll just bring it with me and throw it in my bag if I'm just doing emails. Like I use a lot of just like, I don't know, you can draw on it. I'm not a good drawer, so that's not really like the best thing for me. Um, but I love the Apple Pen. I love everything about it. It's really helped me. It's great for Google Calendar. It's just really good for like work stuff on the go. And also, I read on it all the time. Like, I just use it all the time. Really, honestly, such a good buy. And then, I also just recently got the iPad Pro keyboard. And I'd had the keyboard that wasn't from Apple. I tried to just get a cheap one because I was like, I don't want to spend another, like, however much the keyboard is. So, I got a cheaper one on Amazon. And honestly, no. the I, Apple, all we, everything is better at Apple. Like, Finally, I ended up caving and getting the Apple one and I use my iPad even more than I ever have because this keyboard is so good. I love the setup of it. I love everything about it and I'm just kind of more on my game because I have this. So if you guys are kind of debating getting an iPad Pro, um, I would recommend it if you are someone who's going to use it a lot. If you think you're going to use it for emails or if you're going to use it for Procreate or calendar stuff or whatever, 10 out of 10 recommend. The last thing that I have could have gone on accessories, but I decided to put it under miscellaneous because it is a tote bag. Yes, I'm aware this is an accessory, but I really just needed to get a nice tote bag to bring with me kind of in and out of the studio. I already have one that I've had for a bit and I really just needed a new one um, that I wanted to also bring as a carry on when I travel. So I actually got a really, really cute black Fendi one. It's all black from thread up so it was like under $200 it was such a good deal I get all of my designer pretty much now um from like consignment stores whether it be thread up or the real real or there's this instagram called dreaming of designer that I love that I got my um dior bag that I've been reading like recently wearing um I get all of that stuff way cheaper for a great cost but I really love that I got it from thread up so it's just obviously it's also better for the environment. So that's like really awesome. But it's just so nice. I'm really excited to have it and be able to take it with me as I travel or take it with me to like a coffee shop and work or wherever. I felt like I just really needed a nice, good sized tote bag. So I'm really glad that I picked that up. But that is it for my 2020 start of the new year master list. These are things that I've been loving and that I'm going to be loving this year. Um, things that make me feel more productive, that I'm like the most like I don't know that things that just make me healthier I'm also someone that is like if you give me an air fryer or give me like a juicer I'm gonna be so fascinated by it that I'm pretty much like okay like I'm going to use it because I'm very excited about it and then it makes me healthier um also I'm really affected by like who I follow what content I'm like listening to reading all that stuff so I just wanted to give you guys a good little kind of like inspo um, podcast episode for the new year 2020. The sky is the limit. Join the Facebook group and let me know what you guys are loving so far in 2020 and more specifically who you guys are loving to follow because I am always looking for new people to follow and I would love your recommendations.